Yeah, but somebody's gonna have to come in the back. Here you go. Dunbar. Dunbar. Woo! Mark, y'all might want to go get them so they see the others. Horses here, huh? You jazzed up. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Timbers Bison. We got some new new folks out here today. Lots of friends. Pretty excited. Buddy Cole Meager. Marissa is horseback. Got two ATVs. Guys, it is roundup day. We are moving the Dunbar herd today. We're going a little horseback. I'm taking the ATV. Me and Cole are gonna be it. Marissa, Jerry, Matt, and Mark are horseback and helping us out. Cora's even jazzed up. She's excited today too. Uh, our friends on the ATVs, hope you guys are ready. Here it is. Let's go get the Dunbar herd. I think once they hit the 40, they're just gonna go. Once, because they've been in these pasture for it. Once mm -hmm. they get there, they're gonna go. They're just gonna scatter. We could be here for a couple hours just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I can get them to nine, that's that's the goal. If you've got Big Joe and a Dunbar where they can touch nose to nose, that's the problem. It's probably pretty cool watching. Right. Right. Yeah. It <laughs> it would be Definitely not for me, for but you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm just saying, if we can get them to nine acres, the big Joe herd is here. So that means there's 40 acres between them now. So we're we're okay. It's just since I got all of y'all, I'm like, yeah. can we try to move them? But I don't know if they'll do that. It's a baby steps with them. Stay with them and just, yes. is there anywhere we can just like kind of parallel a fence with them where we can like? It's getting them through that burn unit. It's 80 acres. Yeah. Now there's a road and the weeds are this tall, so it only feels like a natural path. Yeah. They may stay with me. Yeah. Now when I took them out there, they went with me. Yeah. And it wasn't that bad. Bringing them in could be different, but no, there's nothing parallel to run. Everything's yeah. wide open out here. And we don't, we as never. As long as you've got their attention and we just stay back there and like have a big cushion. Yes. That's what I To I'm where thinking. it's like, yeah, they're back there. We'll just keep going, you know, and like. When they do it wrong, we just kind of come up, and if they go back to where they're going, then we'll lay off and kind of push just and go see with their them. Behavior and what they're doing, because uh, I mean, it could be like I said, it could be a five-minute deal, it could be a thirty-minute chase. Yeah. So we'll keep everything simple, like it's just me and the ATV trying to get them with cubes, and we'll yeah. come in the back and see if they'll go. And then we'll all have radio so Jake and Chase make sure you have radio. If they go right, there's a creek crossing that's where I'm putting them. Now Jake already kind of knows. I talked to him this morning. We're here. We're going to go down the middle. Just to help our viewers out, here's a layout of the Ponderosa. Northeast corner is the Ponderosa barn, which is where we're all stationed currently. But we got to go all the way to the Dunbar herd and bring them right through the middle of the property, through the burn unit. Like where mm -hmm. you know we've been. Yeah. This is the nine acres. That's our that's our jackpot. That's where we want them to go. But the Dunbar herd is sitting way back here. So we'll we'll come through. We're gonna this gate's already open. We'll come through here. We'll go down the creek. We'll come out here. We'll eventually go under the high line, and then we'll come out here. Highlines right there. And then what I'm thinking is let me. There's a patch of trees right here. Mark and Matt go under the high line and hide back here. Okay. Kind of just stay secluded for a little bit. And then I'll do my thing, get them, get them jazzed up. And then we'll make this run back where we just came, basically. We'll go before this pond. It'll be like this. And then I don't think you'll need to come around. When you get over there, just peek at it a little bit. Okay. I don't think there is a gap here. <laughs> But I'm thinking you can just sneak back and fill in once we get them going. Okay. Does that just make sense? Keep them making that. Yeah, and then we're gonna tracking. and you can the road is beaten down and the weeds okay. are this tall, so you, it's a it's a full out road and and then we'll come in here. And just like I was talking to Kevin, 
the hiccup is when you cross that creek, they kind of slow down because it's yeah. crowded. So that's where like a bottleneck. It yeah, it is. So we'll have to kind of really. Yeah, yeah, it is. And we'll so make sure we're laying off the end, like, yeah. and let them take the You have time. to kind of get them some time. Now, the question is, is when they come out of that creek, they could be like, oh, <laughs> it's freedom. Yeah. So I'm going to do my best to keep, <laughs> to keep going. And I'm just going to drive through this. And then I just need somebody to shut a gate. Right, we'll shut gates. Okay. As we go this through is, them, we'll shut gates. This is the only gate you'll need to shut. All right. Is this one right here? So after the creek, it, after, yeah, the, after creek. the creek. When okay. we go through it, it'll be open, and I'll wave at you or whatever, <laughs> yeah, or tell you. But when we come back, that's that this old railroad area. track looking yes. thing. Yes, okay. yes, it is. So it slashes through here. You'll just go behind that dry pond, okay. and I would hide out. Okay. Because they just, because they just get distracted really easy. So. All right. And then, and then we're going to bring them all the way to the house. <laughs> I don't. If if we can get them to flow. That's fine, but I don't think they will. I think they'll Let's shut see. down. So you you want to get them here then? Yep. Yeah, the All right. Let's get nine. there. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to the nine, and it's a cleaned out, real pretty pond. Once we get there, let's regroup because when they hit that. Jeez. <laughs> so what we need to do is on the radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when right. we get here, when you pass the creek and you and Matt are behind, mm -hmm. if they start to veer right, yeah, you need to let Jake and Chase and Marshall and Kevin know that hey, they're are kind of coming that way. Yeah, so right would be towards the east then. Yes, the east. Yeah, okay. yeah. That creek runs through there. Okay. That'd be the only thing if they hit that Where creek. Okay. So you guys will be right there. To the east. Okay. So uh, Kevin, when we get, when we're, we're gonna, so we gotta go down there and we'll get them. Right? Yeah, so yeah we, we gotta go stop get them. Let's show, like, kind of do a little walk around. When we get down there. Yeah. And just be like, I want you here. Yeah. I'll be yeah, like, yeah, all right, we can do that. Yeah. We get Kevin. Also, if they do venture off and go right, you can always open that that gate. Uh, I'll open the gate in the corner. They may just for the nine acres. If it's an emergency, they yeah. may can still go that way. So one this is them through. Yep, that's A to keep them away from over here. And that's okay. B for backup. Back up. Okay, gotcha. Right. On that tree here, I mean that's why they hold up there because it's kind of high on this side. That, and most of them ain't gonna bail off of it. I ain't gonna be able to walk for three days. <laughs> yeah, that's what sucks about never riding and just hopping on is like yeah. the next four days you're like, how far did we ride though? Right. He's the only one that rides. Hey, I got some like. Okay. So you want, that's it? No, no, she, she doesn't. She needs those. Okay. How do I get him to go backwards again? <laughs> it's opposite of forward, so. Back? Just pull him back. Just pull back. Pull? Okay. I'm telling you guys, I don't really. There you go. All right. <laughs> okay. Squeeze your legs, you'll go forward. Okay. Poor Bonnie is getting left here all by herself. You need a rope? I got a Melissa, you need a rope? Melissa? Oh, Marissa, you need a rope. <laughs> I ain't roping no baby. I don't know, do I need a rope? Okay. That sounds like something Might be able to scare them off with. Yeah. I think her hands are. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Life is rough, right? Guys, don't forget, Friday morning at 10 a.m., new merch drop, lots of products. Check it out on our website, Cross Timbers Bison. Dot com. Hope you're ready. Let's go get Dunbar and the ladies and Hawks. Hey, I'll be back. I love you. Be right back. Hey, we're going to get Dunbar, okay? We're going to get Dunbar. Just wants to go. I'll get it, Mark. You got it? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Our way. Got 
Yeah. On horseback when they come into that pasture. Car will be the last because he's the biggest and slowest. So. And he doesn't care. And there's two, like I said, there's two calves. Up. <coughs> I forgot to bring that up. <laughs> Alright, so we're on our way to the Dunbar herd, which is, they're still in the hay meta. This is the most important gate right here. So all the horseback folks will be in the back coming through. They've got to stop and shut this gate. So once we lead them out of the hay meta, this will be the last place that we got to catch them is right here on this gate. So this is very important. We're going to go to it from A to B home gate called real quick. Go ahead. Coffee, thank you. The next gate that you go through will be our, you know, jackpot gate. Probably that. So this will be the main gate. So we'll, hopefully the horse riders will shut this gate. We've got two ATVs on both sides of the creek because we had the creek wash out and I'm waiting to, that's going to be a big project. So I've got two ATVs and four guys on either side of the creek in case they do when they get here and they veer right, we got people to stop them. <laughs> So we may be building fence tonight. <laughs> I don't know, but there's a, there's a reason why I hadn't patched that up yet. It's I've got stuff going with the neighbor, and we're trying to figure it out. And I got to get them from the hay meta to here. So Cole and I are going to head over there. Let's do it. The thing that I'm worried about that they may get they may get you know out of tunnel vision is once they slow down and they all have to go through this creek, it gets narrow right here. So if they go through this creek, it slows them down. And when they come out, they may be like, oh, you know, it gives them time to think. If you got them on a continuous run, like a, a momentum, you just got to keep them going. And the creek slows that momentum down. It's great. We love the creek. But crossing it is kind of a momentum killer. We shall see anyways. Because, here, that's what I was thinking. If we'll, once they start crossing the creek... If someone will come from over that way yeah. and just drop and, and hang out probably by that brush pile okay. and just hang out and then we'll have another one come around this way and just wait and then two people back there just being quiet on the other side of the creek. That way when they come and they bottleneck, then we can just wait and let everything kind of come around and then let them find the hole and, and go through the gate up there. Should In a perfect world, you know, that's, how the, that's exactly what they'll do. But... When you're dealing with North America's largest wild animal. Yeah. What are you eating? Yeah, we gotta go up that way. All right, so we've reached the hay meta. It's right here. This is the gate we're gonna open. And so how this is all planned to go, I don't know if it'll go right, but <laughs> the plan is for me just to act normal and just be do what we normally do. It's just me and Cole and the ATV with the cubes. And so this is a daily thing. We come out here, you guys see us. We give them cubes and they follow us around. So that's what we're doing. But what we're gonna do with the horses is we're gonna sneak around this, um, this kind of island of trees right here. And um, we're gonna stage them behind it because I think the horses may be a distraction for the bison. The big Joe herd just told us that basically. They're too curious and I think it would slow us down while well, I see them there up there in that corner. So 
Cole and I will go over here. We're going to get their attention. The horses are on their way. We're going to be over here. Horses are going to be hiding behind the woods. When we pull them through with cubes, hopefully, they just stay on track and follow us. Mark and them and the horses and Marissa are going to get behind them and kind of, so we've got four on horseback. We're going to kind of corral them, essentially, old-fashioned drive. I'll lead, and they'll come from behind, giving them distance, no stress, keep all the stress low, and just let me see if we, or Cole and I, can get them into the nine acres. Mark and them will come from behind, shut the gate. That's the plan. That's the idea. It doesn't always go that way, but they're trained to chase the ATV, so. They're also really good at eating grass, though, and this <laughs> grass hasn't been touched in a while, so. Yeah, so if you're wondering why um, we just don't rotate them in this pasture, here's, here's why. We have a, 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 a thing going on if, with this, and if you guys have seen uh, Cole Fagan and Ethan McJames, we got to deal with uh, Oaks and Prairie's Joint Adventure. Um, they're part of this, where they came out and we did the burn in October of 21. Uh, we kind of signed a deal where we're trying to create wildlife habitat for um, all the you know deer and then also for um, birds as well. So. We've created a good habitat, trying to bring uh, birds like the bobwhite quail back. And so that's why this burn unit, which is 80 acres, is only grazed about twice a year. We've got some kind of strict management strategies, which is all part of regenerative ag, right? There's, there's a balance of, of overgrazing, um, undergrazing, and creating, uh, regen you know, <laughs> creating a, a very healthy soil, which is the number one thing we're trying to do here. And so... This burn unit is getting lots of love from the time of rest it's getting. So, point is, we can't just let them rotate in here. We got to get them to cut through. Here comes the horses. Let's go up here. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably already, they already smell us. They dang sure here, Marissa. Well, what am I doing? Am I like Whoever owns that saddle hadn't oiled it very well. What? Oiled it? Yeah. I feel like we're about to rob a bank. That's about the, like, <laughs> well, almost feel like happening to be kind of hiding over there too. Well, that's what I'm, I'm afraid we'll scatter them if when we come easing out. Exactly. Creek boss to the boss man. <laughs> what is that? Creek boss to the boss man. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm worse set up. I'm ready for you. On the hippie. Copy. Oh. We're at the gate, shaking the sack. We're Hopefully they follow us. Know. We'll let you know when we take off. I hear the drone. Yeah, yeah, do you want us to get back here over to the west under this power line? Yeah, go, go, go down the power line, hang out behind the woods. Let me get them all rounded up right here. And uh, yeah, they can already see you a little bit. I would definitely seclude yourself. All right, so we're here at the Hay Meta. Well, we've got our queen, 1507. She's always up here. Dunbar. Hoss. Hoss is here, waiting on us. Horses are going around this right here and gonna hide. These animals are too smart. They already know something's up. You got Hoss right here. He smells them, sees them. Let me shake the bag a little bit, see if I can get it. Come on. Come on, Dunbar. Hey, buddy. Let's get some cubes real quick. Hey, buddy. There you go. We got the cubes, we got the goods here. I'm gonna need you to follow me, okay? Okay, okay, you deserve it. Don't get too full on me. Okay. I'll radio back out, and then we may have to try the corral situation, um, you know, old-fashioned drive. Uh, but let me see if I can get them going, and then we'll go from there. Okay, call me that. Man, out. All right, we'll back up right here, and I'll just open the gate, and it'll fall, it'll fall down with us. Okay. All right. 
Okay, you ready? Get to it. Get it. Thanks, Cole. So the idea here, when we open this gate, they may just scatter out like mice. They may just go everywhere. I don't know. The idea is to catch your mind, get them down tunnel vision, fall on this ATV. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure. I hope you want them that bad. All right. Come on. All right. Come on, Dunbar. Gate is open. Now, when we count 24, on, the old ways is counting cows. Come on, let's go. Come on. There's some stragglers in the back. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Woo. Come on. <coughs> Come on. 14, 15, 16, 17. We got 18 showing right there and two bulls. Come on, Dunbar. Come on. Oh boy. Come He's on. up in the front. Woo. Come on. You got three in the back. Or four. Come on. Woo. They're following me. Come on, let's go. Here they go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Coming in hot. Come on. Uh, you got about five stragglers back here, plus the three that haven't came past the woods yet. Coming. Mark, y'all might want to go get them so they see the others. All right, top pin two and three are going after those stragglers. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, go ahead. Y'all two go back there. We'll wait right here. Yeah. Because if they don't see the others, yeah. they won't go or they won't know where to go. Yeah. Where are they at? They're waiting. They're not showing. Come on!
There's Dunbar. Woo! Come on! I'm gonna keep giving the cubes. Stay right there. You're good. Just hold him still. He'll be all right. He'll settle down. I get Dunbar. Here you go. Dunbar. Dunbar. Keep him. They're eating grass. All right. Hey, Hoss just came through. What do you got left back there? Bring in the extra. There's four that we got to bring. They just barely through the gate. Hey, thank you. Hey, Dusty, these four have headed to the, uh, guess be back to the northeast, but they're kind of making like they're looking for everybody. If you start making some noise shaking a bag, they might hear you. Hey, I'll tell you what, let's, um, let me come back. I'm going to shut this gate, but I'm going to need a gate opener. Have they made it to the gate yet? Yeah, but somebody's going to have to come in the back. Hold on, let me see if they, they haven't made it all through the gate yet. And don't put any pressure on them, because they may go left or right. Mark, may send somebody pretty quick. I don't you try to... We're coming from me. the east, from the creek. Copy. Yeah, boy. Here. We got some straggler. Here they come. We're going to shut the gate, Dusty. Mark's got her right there. Ooh. All right, we'll get the gate. We'll get it. Go ahead, back it up. We'll, we'll get a double count, but that should be all of them. We've got all of them in here. I'll wait on you, Catherine. She said, do what? Everybody's kind of four down here. We're shutting the gate. That's what I like to hear. Thank you. Yes, sir. Whatever you got, it's cold. I want to thank Cole for coming and helping film and getting the great shots and helping me put this video together. We had so much fun today and we got our goal accomplished. I want to thank Kevin, Marissa, going on horseback, Matt and Mark bringing their horses over. My friends Marshall, Jake, Chase, Jerry as well for getting all this done today. I appreciate them so much and so thankful for them. We got it done today thankful but just to let you know we're not done yet stay tuned for the next video i'm telling you i think if you get them going and us being back there and just staying fanned out they're not going to want to turn around and come chase us when they know that buggy ain't going to hurt them you know yeah they love that buggy they know that sucker is their their bike we're ready to work y'all